in this lesson we will be starting with the most fundamental concept of apache spark and the most important concept of apache spark that that is rdd resilient distributed data set so it is the first abstract abstraction uh, was the rdd and what does it mean that because of this feature it outperform hadoop and because of this feature companies and other <coughs> Uh, organization have adopted this Apache Spark because of this thing and what is uh, uh, this is all about let's start with an uh, definition that it is an interface to a sequence of data objects which are being deployed or located at collection of machines or a cluster so for example we have in a cluster we have some nodes and in some nodes we have some data obviously and uh, and those nodes uh, the task of those nodes is to process that data in a much efficient way so rdd with the help of rdd it maintains a sequence of that data that at this node this is uh, the data is being kept uh, from these to this indexes and this node the, the data is being kept to this and this indexes and so on and so forth so it is a mechanism which is being shared across the node in order to achieve the efficiency achieve the speed while processing uh, our regular data engineering tasks or data science tasks so rdd can be created in variety variety of ways and which are the lowest le uh, level api so these are the at some level we have we have discussed that this, we have high level programming languages we have low level programming low level programming languages means binary the assembly language and the c language which are more closer to the compiler or the interpreter so here the apache spark rdd is a low level integration or we can say a, a method where it can directly communicate with the uh, uh, with the uh, spark core apis and the other spark architecture so with this is the original data structure of apache spark you should focus on the data frame api which is super set of rdd functionality so we now ideally when it was introduced it was rdd but now as the apache spark has been progressive enough it is being converted into the data frame api and that data frame api has the functionality of rdd and now data frame api is the super set of that rdd functionality so we can use the data frame api and then at at back end we can assume that rdd is being installed and rdd has been being working while performing any data frame api task so this is available in java python scala languages and in the majority when we are going for the performance optimization in data frame and data sets it is not necessary it is not mandatory to work with rdds but it is important because it is an core level concept and because why it is important because the rdd is the underlying interface infrastructure that allows spark to run so fast and provide data lineage so it means that the because of these rdds because of this unique feature many of the uh, spark tasks meaning the internal spark tasks use rdds and with the help of, if you don't know the rdd concept you cannot debug the advanced concept of apache spark and you cannot have a fully understanding of whole the apache spark so rdds are very important and when we are using the visualization we have a spark ui reference tool where it will send the cluster management analysis analytics to us that uh, how much the nodes are being working uh, which nodes are being idle and what is the cluster performance and so on so the management of all things and at that management level rdd is the spark ui also shows the rdd uh, reference also so rdd status also so this is an important concept and um, the uh, in the advanced topic rdds are being important so this is because uh, because of this familiarity we will be discussing why rdds are so much important according to apache spark and why they had uh, transform the hadoop framework with this concept so we will be studying the reason behind that now 
moving forward we can say that resilient distributed data set is a fundamental data structure of spark and it is immutable distributed collection also so what does immutable mean so it immutable means that it cannot be changed so one it is it is done it can we cannot rephrase it we cannot change it so this is the immutable and it is being it is being divided it mean it is being allocated over the Python, Java, Scala object and the user defined classes so we can use these RDDs in any form we want and formally then when the uh, RDD was being introduced it was only a read only partition collection, collection of records so it was a partition it means that it, it, it was divided a collection is being divided by the data nodes and all records all records are being divided in such a way that they are being partitioned enough and they are being the some of the parts are saved on some nodes the sum of the parts on some node but with the help of other advancement of Axma, it has been improved enough and then it become a fault tolerant collection of elements and it can be ran in a in a parallel format so parallel format one 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 rdd is go doing something around the second rdd over the same data is doing something around so this is the parallel computing which rdd is being performing so we we have two ways to create uh, RDD one is a parallel we have we use SC dot parallel SC mean spar context dot parallel parallelize and that will uh, they it will uh, we will run this in a driver program and that driver program will distribute our data into the executor nodes with the help of this parallelize function but uh, we can also have reference this data set with the external storage such as HDFS, HBA or any other data so offering a Hadoop info input format so what does it mean so if we are having that data from an external source we can also use we can also convert that data into an RDD and make use of that data in a much faster eh, economic way so it is a uh, the we we introduce the map reduce function that in the Hadoop the map map reduce being working around so we the Apache Spark is doing map to in a much efficient way. So what, uh, how it is being doing? So let's have a, a priori example of why before map Apache Spark or before RDD and after RDD approach. So when we are having a iteration by uh, wise approach where we were having the iteration by iteration uh, things were being the data being processed enough. So we are having the data on this the Hadoop architecture the data was on this it will the HDFS will read the data from the disk and then it will run the iteration and then it will also write that data into the disk uh, in a tuple format and then in the iteration too we are again heading toward the disk to obtain that iteration that output and then we, we reprocess it and after so many iteration the this this method is going on and on on and on on and on in in such a way that it produces or it uses 90% of the f of its time in reading and writing over the disk operation so here the it this incurs substantial overhead due to data, data replication so when i am doing this when i am writing it it will be going towards the replication stuff also it will save the data into the write and then in the next iteration it will read that data from the disk I/O, so this is the this is a problem in the Hadoop system. Now, when when we are we are using the ad hoc queries on the same subset to data, so it will be reading this query one, query two, query three, and then it will be producing the result. So the same data is being read enough, and then if if it is changed, it will be written enough in, into the hard drive. Then it will be read, then it will write. So we have a major hard block over the this and because we are using we are not using Hadoop or Apache Spark for one time process we are using for data engineering pipeline we are using for continuous data improvement continuous data transformation so we need to lower down this IO bound this we need to lower down this IO uh, execution that it is taking so much time in reading and writing ex um, operation uh, reading and writing are much of a simple operation in uh, in today's world and the uh, the heaviest operation in in terms of computation are transformations are the queries and so on and so forth so they are not 
giving time towards the transformation stuff they are not giving time to the query part but they are giving time to the read and write statement which is our absurd problem so how this apache spark has completed or has transformed this whole scenario in such a way that it has just it has introduced a distributed memory so we we know that apache spark uses or perform the computation in memory so here we have the distributed memory and because of the distributed memory the all the things are being uh, written and read in a much efficient faster way so we have the HDFS this is the same thing but with the help of this we have here the distributed memory the uh, the all the iteration will write in the distributed memory then the second iteration number two will read from this distributed memory and so on and so forth and at the last it will save all the data all the process data over the disk so that we can access it for the later on. but for the transformation part it is quick easy and here for the transformation part it is not easy because we need some uh, disk IO bound we need uh, read and write from the hard drive and it takes time so the data sharing in MapReduce, the, this is the whole overall summary of the uh, recording which I had shared that data sharing in, uh, is slow in MapReduce. It is widely adopted by processing and generating, generating large data set with parallel distributed algorithm on a cluster. So MapReduce is, is, is a way much famous algorithm because it, it is used for processing and generating large data set in a much uh, efficient manner in the parallel distributed algorithm. But on some in the parallel and distributed manner we have some errors or we have some limitation that the speed is the limitation and this this is being replaced by the Apache Spark it allows to user write parallel computation using, using a set of high level operators without having to worry about the work distribution and fault tolerance these are the advantages but unfortunately in the current frameworks the only way to reuse data between computation is to is to between two map drop is to write into an external stable storage system like HDFS. So what it means that if our current framework needs a data which ne which needs by two map reduce jobs so i need a data and uh, the second mr2 uh, map reduce job also need that same data so i will be the the data b be between these two jobs will be going towards the writing operation in the disk and then the map mt2 map reduce job 2 will access that written data from the data from the drive or from the hard drive so it takes time so this is the overall uh, pain point or painful point of data sharing and map rule so what spark do, does is that data sharing is slow in map rule due to replication serialization and 90% of the time uh, are being consumed in only HDFS read and write operations so the key idea is, is, is resilient distributed data it support in memory com processing computation this means it is sto it stores a state of memory as an object across the jobs and the object is shareable between those jobs so for we have studied that the job uh, our data is being shared across many jobs and then when the data is being completed when the job then the jobs are being completed the we have the output and that output is being transformed or be is being transferred into the output storage which is being output stable storage which is the any uh, which which can be HDFS which can be snowflake which can be Cassandra according to our use case so this is the overall strategy why RDD are being used and what are the uh, painful points uh, Hadoop carries on in terms of map to do and why the RDDs are being introduced introduce by Apache Spark so that uh, and uh, so that the processes can be streamlined the processes can be faster and it will help us in the data engineering cycle so because of these benefits the RDDs the Spark uh, core APIs the machine learning APIs the streaming API this makes the Apache Spark a unified data solution where we can run our machine learning workloads we, where we can process our streaming data where we can process our social media network analysis data, where we can process our batch structured data and so on and so forth so I would request you to please go through this audio and this uh, overall documentation so that you can have a clear understanding over the resilient distributed data sets